Mule deer are one of the West's most iconic game species and the backbone of Western hunting and big game conservation. Many of us can remember a time when we were young, being just as excited about the deer hunt as Christmas morning. Many of us could look forward to good hunting and the possibility of a mature buck even during the general rifle season. In recent years, however, mule deer populations across much of the West have been declining and the much needed rebounds in the mule deer population have evaded wildlife managers. Will we lose this priceless heritage of abundant deer with majestic bucks, cautious does, and spotted fawns roaming the western landscapes? We at Sportsmen for Fish and Wildlife, along with other concerned sportsmen, aren't willing to watch our mule deer herds decline any longer. Together, we can and we must make mule deer recovery a reality the long-term solution to the decline in mule deer and the threat it poses to our hunting heritage will not be found simply by limiting hunting opportunity in the short term, but by creating conditions that will result in more deer, better age structure, better fawn survivability, and ultimately more big bucks. Imagine a time when once again the mule deer population in Utah tops 400,000 animals. This increase would return the Utah deer herds to long-term sustainable levels and of course would bring with it an increase in hunting opportunities. Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife, working together with thousands of volunteers, has raised millions of dollars and donated thousands of volunteer hours to fix some of the most difficult challenges in wildlife conservation. Just a few years ago, hunting was closed on the Henry Mountains, the Pontagon, as well as the Book Cliffs. Too few deer and fewer bucks to support a healthy population. Today, these hunt units are the crown jewels of mule deer hunting in Utah. While they boast more mature bucks, they also represent areas where overall population have grown substantially. It can be done. Diminished mule deer populations can be increased and eventually flourish. To put healthy mule deer populations back on the landscape, we need a new sense of urgency. The goal of a sustained population of 400,000 deer is an aggressive one and will only be attained through the combined efforts of thousands of concerned sportsmen working together for this lofty but attainable goal. Listen to what some concerned sportsmen have said about mule deer recovery. If it was up to me, I can go three or four years without hunting just knowing that you know, my kids or my grandkids will have that same opportunity to get out and hunt mule deer like I did when I was young. Personally, I think I'd be willing to do just about anything. I'm willing to give up opportunity to hunt, willing to you know, pay more money, willing to invest you know, personal time and expense to restore once what used to be here. The one thing that we can control is predators, and we need to take a serious look at the impact that they're having on our mule deer populations in the West. It goes on every day, 24-7, 365. The coyotes are out there that, uh, you know, they're taking mule deer every day. And the impact that they're having on our deer, especially in our fawning grounds. Fawns are born, they're susceptible. You know, coyotes wreak havoc with, you know, the newborn. As long as you can see mule deer, if it's does and fawns or whatever, people, you know, still keep the excitement. I think it's absolutely imperative, especially right now at the point that we're at with our current population numbers, that we get this right. And one thing I truly believe is that it can be fixed. To do this, we need to pull out all the stops. We need to find winning combinations. We need a multiple front assault to correct factors undermining healthy mule deer populations. Combining a sense of urgency with proven conservation techniques will be the key to our success in mule deer restoration. 
Biologists, as well as concerned sportsmen, agree that long-term predator control should be the main focus in helping restore Utah's mule deer herds. Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife is aggressively pursuing additional avenues and funding for predator control. By combining this with habitat restoration, protection of migratory corridors, along with new tools and resources, together we will succeed in ensuring a lasting legacy of robust mule deer populations in Utah. As a sportsman, your contribution counts. If mule deer restoration is a priority to you, join Team Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife today. We are mobilizing. We are working with teams in your community to ensure that mule deer restoration can be a success, not only statewide, but in your own backyard. Simply add your name to the Sportsman for Fish and Wildlife petition on sfw.net. We can then put you in touch with other team leaders in your community. When our collective efforts are needed in this fight to fix mule deer populations, you and an army of sportsmen will be ready to answer the call. Working together, we can ensure a lasting legacy of robust mule deer populations in Utah. If we are successful, it will mean more mule deer to hunt and the real chance of harvesting a big buck, not only with a limited tag, but especially during the general season. Doing this is something we owe ourselves, the deer, and the future generations of Utah hunters.